right, guys, this is going to be my, um, we'll call it a reluctant review <laughs> for the Keltec P32. Now, as most of you guys know, I'm not a fan of Keltecs. Um, I've owned one Keltec. I owned it for about an hour before I took it back because it failed every single time I pulled the trigger. I've had several friends that have had um, failures and or catastrophic failures with their Keltecs. Not a fan, never have been. Um, my wife wanted this gun. She, she wanted uh, this one in particular. I wanted to get her a pocket gun. We went to the gun shop. She looked around. This is the one she chose. That was, I believe, eight, maybe nine, ten months ago. I can't really remember. It's been this year. And I tried to talk her out of it. This is the one she wanted. Um, so I told her, I said, look, we're going to get it. We're going to shoot it. If we have any issues with it whatsoever, we're getting rid of it and getting you something else. She said, fine. So that's what we did. Now, obviously, you know, eight, ten months later, I still have it. And there's a reason for that. It's worked. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It's a it's a used gun. It's a it's a Gen 1. I believe it's dated somewhere around 2000, 2001. So it's a considerably older model Keltec. I don't know if that has anything to do with the reliability of it, but um, you know that is what it is. It's a 32 ACP. You got six plus one in the chamber. It's a very small, lightweight package. I mean, it's very attractive that way. I mean, it weighs in at about 6.8 ounces unloaded. Um, it's tiny. I mean, you know, you can fit it in a pocket easily. And that's why my wife wanted it. She wanted something that was small and easy for her to carry around no matter what she was doing or where she was going or how she was dressed. And this fit the bill, and she liked it. Um, you know, it, it does, you know, take take the reliability issues that I've seen with Celtics out of the, out of the, the equation, and, and there's a lot to like here. I mean, very slim, very small, very lightweight, 32 ACP, 6 plus 1 in the chamber, 7 rounds of a nice little hot, you know, bullet, uh, it, it's it's an attractive package, um, but as I said, I am weary of Keltex. This one has proven to to be a good gun. Um, uh, about 85 rounds through it, not a single failure. It was used, so I didn't feel a need to go put you know 200 rounds for the gun. Um, plus, every round you fire through something is you know just ending its life a little more. I figured around 85 rounds that was good enough. Um, been reliable, no issues, no failures to feed, no jams of any sort. It has functioned flawlessly. Again, maybe that could be chalked up to the fact that it's been used and broken in. Maybe it could be chalked up to the fact that uh, it, it's a Gen 1 and those were maybe better, more reliable. Maybe it could be chalked up to the fact that, you know, I've just had bad luck with kel with the ones that I have shot or owned. And this is a better example of a kel -Tec. I don't know. If somebody was to come to me right now and say, hey, would you recommend this to me as a pocket gun? I'd say maybe. Um, and the reason I say maybe is because there are other guns out there that fall into this category that I trust more. Namely, something like this. This is the Taurus uh, TCP, little 380. Uh, weighs pretty close to the same as this, a little bit bigger round. Um, these run about 250 bucks. You can pick these up for 199, and I've had really good luck with Taurus. Now I know a lot of people out there have had bad luck with Taurus and good luck with Keltec. So again, personal preference, personal experience, that kind of stuff is going to fall into play. I would be hesitant to just right off the bat recommend this, but if it's something that you like, if it's something that fits your budget, and it's something that you're comfortable with, then I can say, yeah, go ahead, give it a try. But be forewarned. Uh, there are many people out there who have had bad experiences with them, so take it, shoot it, break it in really good, especially if you're buying it new, and make sure it functions flawlessly before you start carrying it for defense. That's that's the best advice I can give you on uh, on a Keltec. So that is pretty much my kind of uh, my review, my opinion of the Keltec P32. Um, again, Gen 1, so it's an older model. Uh, but there you go. So hopefully it was helpful to somebody out there. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and we will talk to you later. Thanks.